It was on the new National Party podium on Thursday night that Minister for Education Emily Pei announced the start of an investigation into lecturers at Tam CC, as they are accused of offering students good grades in exchange for joining them in protest action. When I received a call from someone outside of Grenada saying to me, Minister, what is going on at the college? That lecturers are offering students to increase their grades if they come on the picketing line. We cannot afford to affect the integrity of our only community college. And no lecturer should be allowed to get away with something like that. And that is why I say to you tonight, the college will launch an investigation to determine whether any lecturer has offered any student an increase in grades to come and to protest against the government. The minister says that in no way will her ministry allow education to be used as a political football by anyone. She added that the recent protest by lecturers was not called for, as government has been making payments to Tam Sisi and has plans to wipe out the outstanding debts, which is in excess of $450,000 by the end of this year. Almost $5 million was paid out to lecturers and staff at T.A. Marshall Community College in the form of increments. You know what the balance is? We are wiping out the balance this year. A balance of, of, of just over 400 and something thousand dollars. We dealt with the millions and this year we are balancing off, we are closing off the balance and outstanding increments. And we say to the union, work with us, we're working with you. We are going to go next to address the outstanding issue of salary increase. Minister Pair was addressing supporters of the new national party during last night's launch of St. George Northeast candidate Nimrod Oliver. For GBN News, I am Rina Pair Thomas reporting.